What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're getting into a all Mopar video. Mostly Hellcats, Scat Packs, higher end stuff and showing you guys that you can buy these cars for fairly cheap at Copart. So let's get into it. <music> guys first one on the list we have this what is a hellcat look at this a hellcat charger and we got Jer jeremiah underscore texas this is his hellcat or with the nitto tire stickers this is clean man clean a little bit of front end damage i don't know why this would be here though I mean, I see the crash bar is a little damaged. The tire is off the rim. Ooh. Yeah, heavy suspension damage. Ouch. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I guess I could understand why, why it's here. That's uh, completely and utterly smashed. The light, But the license plate bracket is the win right there. Louder than your mom last night. <laughs> oh, I gotta give this dude a follow on Instagram, man. I like that right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior and see how she looks. Oops. Jesus Christ. Says key fob. Not detected, huh? There we go. Damn. Oh, it's gonna keep going. I'm gonna hold this L. Needless to say, many L's have been held on this one today. <laughs> that thing blew the horn on me like crazy, man. Keys are present and everything, but it wouldn't recognize the key, so I don't know. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments, man. I'm done, man. I just got blasted, totally blasted by this damn car, man. It just put me on put me on blast with all that horn beeping and whatnot man hating ass oh man i'm done i mean it is the olympics somebody came here and lost their medal man damn well now that i've been thoroughly roasted by this hellcat i think it's time we go on to the next one Gets us into a Chally. You know I'm on Chally, gang. It is what it is. We've got a Dodge Challenger up here. I don't know if it's an RT or what. We're going to see here in a minute. Definitely got some scratches and dents on it. Probably an RT with the way that that looks in the front. Loss type is unknown. Well, I have a couple of ideas. Ooh, wow. Y'all just cut the metal away, huh? I think they cut the metal away to see if there was buckling or damage under that and there wasn't it's just funny how isn't that crazy so dodge or fca or stellantis wherever they are now so they literally put these body panels on and then they just pump this foam in there isn't that crazy to keep the you know the metal integrity but this is the dent that the extent of the damage back here you can see and and when it when something like this is damaged they literally have to replace everything from this back piece all the way up here all the way down here it's all one big piece and um which i mean if you're doing the body work it's easy to to replace that one piece but it's a pain in the ass man to get the parts and everything else the windows are down keys are present but i don't think she has any power we'll take a look yeah she has oh no she has power she just lit up let's see if she fires up 
might give us an idea of what kind of engine she has. V6! <laughs> V6! V6 engine. Turn this down or off. V6 engine, man. See if the AC works though, because I do need to cool down my GoPro. V6, which means nothing special. I'll confirm though, because someone will say, man, it might not be a V6 TK. It might be that they just didn't cut the damn uh, exhaust off like you dumbass Mopar guys. I'm like, okay. See, we just stick the GoPro like that in there and let it sit on the air conditioner for a minute. And while that's happening, we get over here and we'll take a look under, under here. 3.6 VVT, you know, it's the basic cheap engine that Chrysler slash FCA slash Stellantis uses now. Now I will say this, the 3.6 is fairly reliable. It's not like GM's 3.6, which is hot garbage. I just find this interesting. Like you got the Alcantara seats, right? with the v6 i didn't even know that was an option i didn't even know that was a thing you could actually do but it looks like light damage i, I can see where it got hit you got abs traction control everything else let me see if traction control yeah i can't turn it off and on and it looks like the sensors in the front are done huh does she have any brakes she's got brakes goes into gear backup camera works i don't know i just find it weird that it's not like it's a v6 with the alcantara's and the bit with the alcantara and the big screen which is crazy so all right guys next up we have a dodge charger scat pack 392 bang look at this she looks good on that side and then we get over here and it's where we really see the damage that rear quarter is busted actually the entire side of this scat pack charger is destroyed hey man did you really just oh, rubber who i got lucky got to pay attention when you're walking around out here guys look at that man could this be fixed sure is it worth it <sighs> If the title status on this is clean, which I know you'll say there's no way that this is clean, but you'll be surprised. If this was a clean title, replacing the plastic, the headlight, fender, door, door, and then you have body work to do back there on the rear, minus any repairs or whatnot to the suspension, could be worth it. Let's see if the door works. The door still works. The door does still work. So, hey, <clears throat> see down here? No structural damage behind the door. See, this is where this is where you can see stuff like where you could just replace the doors and keep it moving. Let's check out their keys. I like I like their style. They got the same little uh, key cover. Oh, it's a little different than mine. Mine still shows the Dodge logo on the rear, but that's cute with the little red um, red joint. Oops, did I unclip it? Let me clip that back on there. Let me clip it back on there. There we go. Yeah, she's dead dead, which doesn't surprise me. And this is a 2021, guys. This is a brand new Scat Pack charger. Brand new. Like, brand, brand new. I wish I had enough juice in it where I could show you guys what it is. And you can see here, it was so dead that they had to use the neutral pull here. And in case you guys didn't know, you haven't looked at my other videos on the channel, I've done videos on how easy it is to steal these cars. And it's easy to steal these cars because they literally just do this, man. They jump into a, a Charger Hellcat or a Scat Pack and they just pull this little rubber thing. Pull this right here. And now the vehicle's in neutral. And then they push your car away. This one probably still has a really good powertrain. We're going to get under the uh, hood real quick. Or maybe not. Hold on, let's see if it works. It does. You know, this one is not as concerning to me. I know you guys are seeing a lot of body damage. The door still works. There's no, let me look back here. A little bit right here. You know, you'd have to sort this out, but 
Man. Uh-oh. Let me find out. I did that, and now I can't close it, right? There, okay. I just had to push down. All right, so you definitely would have some work in that rear door. But up in the front, it looks bad, but it's really not. It's really not. Let's get over here. Look at that brand new powered by SRT Mo. This thing is so new. So, so new. I can still see the Mopar writing on the belt. There's no dust or anything on the pig metal or nothing yet. This thing is new, 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 new. Brand new motor, man. Brand new motor. And like I said, the damage is really consistent to this side. So it looks like they hit something here. And you can see it was like a glancing blow this way. Boom. Guessing the car swung around and bang. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. And caught it out the rear. That whole side. Ouch. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. But, yeah. I mean, that's rebuildable. This one 100% is re rebuildable, guys. No doubt in my mind. And I bet you it runs and drives. I mean, outside of the suspension damage and whatnot, you have to fix it. But I bet you you could put this back on the road. No doubt in my mind. Huh. Well, and the hood's not even bad. Like, you're literally looking at the plastic front fascia fender suspension components door door and then your your body work here straightening that out and doing this back here which would probably result in cutting like right about here and then reskinning that section and keep it moving man we'll look back here i don't even think there's a real damage in the rear back here and there's no way to tell without me tearing this apart, and I, I can't do that. That is a no-no. Let's say someone left the oh radio instruction manual. The uh, 2021 Dodge Challenger Charger Performance Features Guide. Cool. Well, everything is here with it. Like I said, it is getting stuck over here. On that metal right there where that's been pushed in so that would have to be done but the trunk lid looks fine like i said this is totally rebuildable let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below all right guys next we have another dodge challenger scat pack this one's a little special because it has the shaker and we're looking at it right here you can see some of the body lines bent off the front fascia that fender has a little ripple in it. That door has a little ripple. It's missing the mirror. And that body damage goes all the way down here to the back. And that's where you don't want to see it. When you start seeing it right there, that's when the repairs on the body start getting stupid expensive. Now the butt, the ass of the car, she looks fairly decent. She looks fairly clean over here on this side. I don't know why the door is open. It looks like it was left open. But there's the badging 6.4 liter Hemi. And what's crazy is this, I don't even know if this is actually a Hemi. It's an 18 Challenger. I'll have to look and see, but she's fairly clean. I mean, that little bit of damage on the side, I mean, you could fix that. Let's look and see if she has any power. I'm going to guess not. Oh, got to love the 223 rounds in the, <laughs> in the car. Oh, she has power. Let's see if she starts. Oh, is she a V8? I just don't know if it's a 6.4 or if it's an RT. Not bad. She runs. And I'm going to say it's an RT because it stops at 160. So somebody up badged this. We can confirm this in about 10 seconds by just looking under the hood. Let's look. Unless in 18 they had smaller uh, amounts. You know, they didn't have the... Let's see. Yeah, see? 5.7 liter. We call that up badging. 
That's some bum ass shit. Just be happy you got a shaker, man. Stop being a fraud. That's fraudulent right there. You know damn well you ain't got no scat pack. And you put scat pack logos on your car. Now, here's the thing. The 5.7, in my opinion, sounds better. And then you put this on it, too, man. Tighten up, man. That's some fraud right there. That's just some, that's just some BS. That's just some cold, cold BS. I don't know why people do that, man. I don't. I never understood that. This is not bad, though, even as an RT. 54,656 miles. So pretty solid on the, uh, on the miles. Let's see if this thing has, like, performance mode or any of that stuff, which I know it doesn't. Let's see, travel link, SOS, mirror dimmer. Yeah, exactly. You don't even have like nothing. Like this is, a, ugh. And I'm not hating on it. This is still a nice car. I mean, I don't like these basic ass seats that they put in these RTs and scat packs, but I mean, nice car, man. I mean, it's got the paddles. That's a win, right? You know, it's not a bad car. The shaker is nice. Gives it its own thing. Just be happy you got a Shaker RT, man. There's no reason to up badge your car. That's 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 phony, man. And then yo, fellas, if you up badge your car and you get a chick, God forbid you get a chick that knows her car, she is gonna roast you so hard for up badging your shit, man. I'm just telling you, take it, take it from me, man. I'm just don't do it. You ain't gotta do that. That'd be like me up badging my scat pack to a Hellcat. Why would you do that? Just go, you know, if you can't afford that right now, just, you know, be happy that you got what you got. You know, I, I, I respect the dude in the SXT Challenger more for just rolling the SXT and, and being proud that he was able to afford and buy his own SXT with no cosigner than a guy who got his mama to cosign him for a scat pack. You know what I'm saying? As my dude Bernie would say, that's facts. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep this party moving and we'll keep it moving and see if we can find some more uh, Hellcat scat packs or, you know, fraudulent scat packs like this one as we go. And that camera looks good. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> All right, guys. We are still moving. We're going to see if we can find the next one. <sighs> Not a scat pack or an RT, but... I'm going to be honest with you. There we go. Chrysler 300. They got that. Uh, they got that Hellcat running. What I find interesting about it, though, is. Uh, oh, that wasn't a Hellcat. A scat pack. Never mind. Say less. I'm going to be quiet now. Wow. Well, I believe that scat pack was dead as a doornail, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, we were going to jump into that Chrysler 300, but it has a no-touch tag on it after I got around to the side, so we're going to have to keep it moving. All right, guys, and we're back with a Dodge Charger. This one is a 5.7, supposedly a Hemi. It is an 18 with 46,000 miles. Let's zoom out here looks pretty clean man i see some minor little dings and bumps and whatnot on it but nothing major now i can tell they've done some work over here you know when you can look at the paint and see and i can see right here i can see where that's the paint's peeling right there but you can see the cracks and stuff i don't know if this comes out on video but this whole side has been painted and not very well. Like the orange peel on that is really bad. This whole side was painted. Now the front looks like it's factory. The hood looks good. This side looks great. All right, so this car has definitely been smashed or damaged before. And look at this, you got a small little titty in the tire, chewed up rim. Let's see if she fires up though racing format okay that's cute let's see what she does 
Nathan. It's not reading the key fob. Could be that it's just dead. It happens. It does happen. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, that makes this one that much easier. We don't have to spend a ton of time on it, but there she is in RT. We got RT scat packs and Hellcats today. We haven't even got into one V6 on the Mopar side. That should make you guys happy, right? <laughs> We've been doing all the solid joints. All right, guys, and we are back in. Look at this. What year is this charger? And it looks like it's probably a food stamp edition. 2019. It is the SXT, so it is the bottom level of the charger base. And, ooh, the whole back of that is completely and utterly smashed. Oh, my God, man. Like, see, this is the kind of car where I tell you it's not worth fixing it. It's an SXT. It's like, eh. You know, unless you need some doors or something for your scat pack or whatever and, you know, the body lines and the creases and whatnot match, then I avoid these. I avoid the V6 Dodges like the plague, man. They're not, they're, they're nothing special. They're just a car that has, you know, it does have some of the nice styling for the other chargers, but like the front face on this, the only thing I would give you with this is if you're rolling down the street, people are going to think you're the police on this. That's it. That's it. Nothing special in this one at all, man. Huh. Well, there you go. We had all V8 so far. I had to show you one cheap-ass edition, and there it is. Well, the video may be going downhill from here, man. We have a Dodge Challenger right here. And uh, I'm going to guess this is a food stamp edition, looking at the rims. But uh, it's a 16... Yeah, it's a V6. Yep. 3.6 liter V6. I mean, a car like this, if you're buying them for parts, they're not bad. Because, like, let's say you need this back, whole back quarter. This whole piece comes off. You could unbolt and un, uh, you know, you can cut this whole piece loose. All the way from up here, all the way back. And then if you had one that's damaged back here, you could just replace it but it's crazy man the challengers even the cheap ass editions are going for insane money right now doesn't make any sense man it really doesn't but you know it is what it is it really is what it is man Whew. wow all right guys so here we have they better not have put hybrid on this man now see this is the kind of badging that I like. Let's get all Hellcats, all Hellcats, Scat Packs, and RTs. Let's just start putting hybrid on our vehicles. That's hilarious. I think that's funny. That's funny badging, all right? This is a Dodge Charger RT, and boy, did it hit something super friggin' hard, man. Super friggin' hard. It is a 2019 with 35,000 miles, and she is caked in dust. Jesus. Looks like some like this car came. I was gonna say so. It, it looks like it came from Miami. Wink wink. <laughs> I'm getting better at this uh censored savagery. Charger RT. You can see they upgraded the tips and the pipes. Too bad she's dead. I'd like to fire her up for you, man, but there is another one. V8. And V8's for the win, man. V8's for the win. Damn. And the damage is, you know, the core support, you'd probably, you have to t unbolt it. But luckily, like, most of this stuff bolts on, right? So you unbolt all of this, replace the coolant system and whatnot. The frame rails are bent this way, but as long as they're not ripped off uh, the wall back there, where, you know, where they bolt in, you could bolt on new ones. Like, you could probably repair this. It could be repaired. Is it worth it? It's an RT. Eh depends it really depends all right guys i think i have time to show you guys one more on this all mopar video which you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did my mopar family 
I need y'all to smash that thumbs up button like it was disrespectful. Like, just, just. Psh. Oh, no. I can't wrap us up with a food stamp edition. Tell me this is. Oh, it is. Y'all, I know y'all crying like, why well, you got to call it a food stamp challenger, TK? Because it is, bro. It's facts. It's the food stamp edition, all right? Basic, bumper hanging. You're looking at a fender, a door. If it didn't damage the stuff in the rear, you probably could body, yeah, you could body fill this and paint it. Rim, 39,000 miles. I don't know why you, you would, I don't know why you would fix this. Doesn't make any sense to me, but hey, you know, I've seen pe people do crazier things. This one's dead as a doornail and it's trash. So, you know. There is that aspect to it. But it'd be a great parts car, man. It would. I think it would be a great parts vehicle. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look. The the rear is all dented back here. Nope. Say it with me. Trash. Hell no. Nah. Well, let's see if we can wrap it up on something better, man. I can't wrap up the, the, the show like this with y'all with a food stamp car, man. What do I look like wrapping up today's video with a food stamp car? Hell nah, man. I'm walking through spider webs like crazy. Please don't bite me. <laughs> please, please, please don't bite me. Let me make it. We got another charger over here. That's a win. Is this the one we looked at earlier? Nope, that's another one. All right. Probably a cheap addition too. But we do have a Jeep there. I know that's not a Trackhawk, but we'll look at it in a second. Yeah, we did look at this one, I think. Yep. Or not. It looks very similar to one we just we just looked at. Yeah, I don't think we did. We didn't look at this one, actually. But this is another cheap addition. We really don't care about that. We're not going to waste your time on the crap ones oh crap is that the car from fast this is the one that they sent to space right now it's at copart somebody's gonna get that reference all right we got a grand cherokee what is it Eighty-two thousand miles is it a v6 or a v8 it's a srt all right see i told y'all man i told y'all we would wrap this up on something solid 83 82,398 miles on the clock on this one keys are present but she is dead as a doornail see it says jeep on the key same keto srt on the seats srt on the wheel pretty clean man Looks like somebody stole the molding in here. The carbon fiber is what it looks like. Yep. Somebody came in here and snatched it out, huh? This is why they escort everybody now, guys. Because people come in here and do scumbag things. But there it is. She's clean. Let's see if we can take a look at the motor, huh? Wow, is she missing all of the trim in here? It looks that way. Damn. Watch this be a fake SRT. I'll laugh. Wow, why is she so heavy? Oh, because all the struts and stuff are gone. No, it's got the 6.4 Hemi in it. It's an SRT. Wow, that's heavy, boy. That hood is heavy as hell. Yo. Hell nah, man. Well, an SRT Jeep. That's not a bad way, man. You know, it's not a Trackhawk. This might have been pre-Trackhawk, right? Yeah, it's a 14. So this is pre-Trackhawk. But this is nice, man. This thing is beautiful right here. And it doesn't look like it needs a lot of work. It looks like it's all cosmetic stuff. You know? You could put this thing back together. Ooh, a little dent right there in the door. But nothing crazy, nothing major man well what do you guys think 
I see. Is this another one? Oh my God, guys. Are we getting lucky here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's look at the back. Uh-oh. Damn spider webs everywhere, man. Nope. Just a regular joint. Nothing special. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's Copart walk around with so many Mopars, Hellcats, Scat Packs, RTs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you like today's video and you like what I do, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And this video is basically out here just to show you guys that you can totally buy these cars for way cheaper than you could at retail if you went to a dealer right now. You could buy something that you might have to put a little bit of work into and enjoy it a lot more knowing how much money you actually saved. What I'm going to do now, normally I would say that would be it. I'd just go ahead and get us out of here on a, on a so many. But I think I'm going to go through too and show you guys online what some of the buy it now prices are for these Hellcats, uh, scat packs and whatnot, and what you would actually look at paying if you wanted to buy one through Copart with a salvage or clean title, um, as opposed to buying one through a dealer. And yes, you could get a car from Copart Finance. That's actually a thing. So if you're interested in that, hang around. We're going to continue the video and we'll get to that. For the rest of you guys that are done and you're like, I'm out of here. I appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. But now let's go ahead and jump in and look at what some of these cars are selling for. All right, guys. So we are in here and I just wanted to go through and show you some of the Hellcats that you could actually pick up before we get out of here. Now they have some that you could put on the road right now that require no work, no repairs, no nothing. Just get in it, drive it, go get it a good detail because it's probably covered in dust. And the first one I want to show you is one I covered in a video previously. And that's this yellow one right here. This one is at uh, in Nashville. It is a wide body Hellcat. Uh, Kentucky certificate of tile rebuilt. So it does have a damage history. The current bid on it is 31000 but you could buy it now for 44750 And like I said, you can see it's an actual Hellcat. It's got the blower, the whole nine, 28,000 miles on it. All right, that's one. Um, and we can keep going through. I mean, here's here's a 2019 Charger Hellcat, regular body, the whole nine. So you're looking at a front fascia. The bid on this is 17000 now there's one day and 18 hours left. This one's based in Atlanta. Now you have airbags and stuff. It's fucking asshole. <laughs> um, but you can see this one here, 13,000 miles on this. This is basically a brand new Hellcat, 2019. And um, then you got other ones here. Like here's one for 45,000. This is a 2020 Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Now this one's gonna need some work, clearly. You're gonna have to redo this one. Is this, uh, I'm about to say, wait a minute, this looks a lot like SRT God's Hellcat there for a minute, hold on. But this one's in Louisiana, and you can see you're missing the fenders, the front fascia, all the cooling systems and stuff look good though. Headlight, core support looks decent. Airbags are blown everywhere. Yeah, but that one has a buy it now of 45000 and that's a red eye. Now, again, you're going to have to put some work in it to fix that one. Then we have a 16 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Now, this one I like. This is just the classic, you know, one year after they came out, gold wheels, black body, quad tips. This is just nice, man. I like this. Black on black on black, 26,000 miles on it. Look at that. Normal wear, salvage title, but who cares? I mean, but this is what I'm saying. For you guys that are going out, and, and a lot of people will say, well, that means you have to buy them, TK. No, man, there's banks that will write a note. If you get the VIN number from Copart, and you go to a bank and say, I want to buy this car from auction, and you show them the pictures and all of that, there are credit unions that will write you a note for you to bid on and buy that car. Cad, just buy it. You don't have to bid on it. Just buy it now, right? Or you can try to go through the auction. But, 
you know, here's here's one that's three grand in Philly. Thirty five hundred and fifty bucks. Oof, the whole back of that is finish him. <laughs> what did they do to this one in Philly with five thousand miles on it? Damn. Uh, oh, that's sad. But you have these in here for days. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. There's so many of these that you could buy. Now look at this. Here's a red eye, North Boston, 96,000, buy it now. Clean title. Now, are you gonna buy one like this from there? Of course not. You'd buy one from a dealer at this point. But this one looks like it's a dealer that listed it. 9,400 miles on it. Ooh, they even, it's rare. Usually they don't put videos uh, they don't normally have videos of these up, so this is rare. Okay, there, there it is. All right. So, quick little video on it. And it looks good, man. It looks good. You know something that I hate? I hate when you're minding your own damn business and you're sitting somewhere like in a park... For an example i'm just giving an example here and there's a whole fucking park with like 50 benches but someone wants to come sit right next to your bench like they want to ear hustle i'm guessing they thought while i was recording this that i'm like on a phone call or something and they just want to listen to what i had to say no bitch go do your own thing man get get the hell away from me man damn some straight bullshit man anywho's so we're back into it we got a 2016 dodge charger srt hellcat now this one is in houston um don't know why I, i'm guessing maybe because of that door maybe because of this door and maybe it bent the frame or something or maybe the you know the insurance company just said screw it and totaled it out because the resale value is high but uh y'all might reckon my houston people might recognize this hellcat from houston but like I said, there's so many in here, guys. Like I could do this all day. You know, this, this these are how Hellcats these are how Hellcats look in Detroit. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Look, if you're from anywhere else in the country, and you drive to Detroit or New York or New Jersey in a Mopar, and it's not locked, like in a garage somewhere. Uh, prepare to have your shit stolen. I'm just going to be honest with you. The parts and stuff are so high and they're so easy to freaking steal that it makes sense for people to steal them and strip them for parts. You know, there's people making six figure incomes off of just tearing motors out of Hellcats. Facts. All right. We got one in Chicago here. This one's not on sale yet. Vandalism, it says. Oh, it looks like that window windshield's busted. <clears throat> this might be one of those. I cheated on my baby mom's Hellcats. Oh, wow. See? Assigned identification plate. So this has a, it has a, a whole separate VIN number on it. Damn. So like I said, guys. I mean, we could do this all day. There's a ton of them in here. And if you go to copart.com forward slash TKS garage, you can sign up. You can get same, the same access that I have to the system here. And you can go through and look at some of these. Here's another one from Atlanta. All right. We got a 2020 SRT Charger Hellcat. It looks like the ass got ripped out of this one. But they're here, man. You can find them all day all day and you look some of them you know it looks like oh that's bad the ass is ripped out of it it's really sometimes it's just an axle some suspension components and you keep it moving here's a 2020 oh that one said finish him the, the damn roof is bent up Oof. Mm -mm 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 -mm. that one's in dc but this is what i'm telling you guys there's just so many of these um available Yo, did they? This is not no Hellcat. That is not no Hellcat, man. That was not no Hellcat. 
Oh, maybe. Well, maybe it was. Hold on. What's the speedometer say? Yeah, maybe it was. Y'all try to put the food stamp wheels on the front of it to try to fake people out. See that wheel right there? That's not a Hellcat wheel. So somebody stripped this joint. Ooh, there's no motor. There's no nothing Hellcat left about that one. Oh man, there's just so many of them, guys. I mean, we could do this all day. Ooh, uh oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like this. Ooh. Now, see, here's one where the interior was burned. This is the one where, you know, the baby moms came out and was like, yo, why did you smash my sister? And then she poured some lighted and fluid on your shit and lit your shit on fire. You know, she, she left odd your SRT. It happens, man. You know, if you step out and, and you don't have permission when you do that, she might light your shit on fire. And, and in this case, this happened. It was lit on fire, but this isn't bad. You can replace an interior. You can even replace the windows if you had to replace them. But bro, seats, carpet, ceiling. You know what? I don't even want to talk about seats right now. My car is still at the body shop. Been at the body shop three months waiting on some damn seat covers. So yeah, you could buy this, but you might be like me waiting for three months for some damn seat covers. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was in a positive mood. That shit changed quickly. But there we go. Let's look at one more. Look at this one in VA. Uh, wide body too. Uh. Ooh, with the peanut butter guts. Ooh, 34,000 miles. Ooh, run and drive. I don't see no damage on it. Nowhere. So this is one that just is getting run through, you know? There it is. And look, the primary damage is replaced VIN which means more than likely it was a stolen car. Now, the wonderful thing about this is it's clean title and it's got a Virginia certificate of title. So this is one I'm gonna watch because some states will not let you register a replaced VIN, but the states that I have businesses, houses and offices in, they do. So I would happily bid on something like that. So anywho, there you have it. This is just a quick, Little thing for you guys to show you at the end here that you can actually buy Hellcats for way less than half a retail. Buy it now. Like, you know, if you go to a, a shop now or you go to a store, they're going to try to tax you for a Hellcat because nobody has them for sale. You know what I'm saying? You buy one here like this that's ready to go, doesn't need any repairs. Yeah, the, the title might be branded or whatever, but if your bank writes you to note on it, do you think somebody at the car show when you go there to go slide or you go to pull up at, it's going to give you, it's going to be like, yo, what, what is your title branded? Nobody gives a fuck. No one's going to say anything. So this is just a prime example showing you guys that you can buy these cars at reasonable prices. Okay. And I'm talking about scat pack prices. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. It's a hot one today, boy. Let me tell you, it's definitely a hot one. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are enjoying the, the all Hellcats or all Mopar videos, I'm, I'm going to continue to do them. We have a uh, so many Camaros video coming up for you guys. We have another one with Mustangs, GT350s, GT500s, all of that. Um, we already did the BMW one. You guys saw that on there. Um, you know, we might do some Hondas, you know, like Civics and things of that nature. Uh, or I might get into, you know, so many so many rice style cars. I don't know what I'm going to do, man, but, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos, uh, cause I enjoy making them for you. And, uh, I got more stuff coming for you guys soon. And we're going to have a lot of content in Los Angeles coming up here very, very soon for the 4th of July weekend. So stay tuned for that, uh, as well as vlogs and other stuff. And, and you guys seem to enjoy the vlogs. It depends on what it is um, that I post, but you know, sometimes you know, there's always going to be some uh, some fuck shit going on <laughs> on the vlog, you know. Uh, but we're gonna have fun with it, man. We're gonna go enjoy ourselves in LA for the fourth, and uh, I'm looking forward to to uh, you know cranking out some really good videos for you guys in Los Angeles. And um, you know, quick update on the BMW before we go. I don't think I'm going to get the car back in time for the 4th of July. They're waiting on some suspension components. 
uh, from Germany. So we're looking at probably like around July 10th or so. I may have it around that time. And I'm looking forward to debuting it and showing you guys where, uh, you know, where that car is going to be here in the future. And then uh, I think we're going to take a run out to Texas. I got to link up with my dude, Sylvester Scat, who also just got a G30 BMW 5 Series. And, uh, he, you know, if you've seen his uh, Scat Pack, his Charger, he's going to be doing all kinds of madness. And we're going to get some, share some tunes and do some cool stuff with our BMWs when I'm out there. And maybe I'll convert some more people. I see... Shout out to my, my fellow shipmate. Shout out to CJ's Matrix on uh, YouTube and Instagram. He just, you know, he got out of the track hawk and jumped into uh, a Kia Stinger, which means I'm thinking T Rose is probably going to have a BMW shortly. I know CJ's like, TK, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't start that shit. But, anyways, um, hopefully y'all have a wonderful evening wonderful day hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys very soon on the next one peace